Hello and welcome to the Spring 2015 Climate Briefing for Utah. My name is Christine Cruz and I'm a forecaster with the National Weather Service in Salt Lake City. This briefing was created on Tuesday, June 2, 2015. Spring 2015 was quite the roller coaster climate wise. Meteorological spring is considered the months of March, April, and May. This briefing will be a discussion on the climate trends of these months. Spring 2015 was a season of contrasts. The spring started out warm and dry for much of Utah, but we ended the season with May being one of the wettest Mays on record for many locations. In fact, Salt Lake City broke the record for the number of days in May with measurable precipitation. To contrast the wet and cool May, March was the warmest March on record for Salt Lake City, neither a record or within the top 10 warmest marches on record for many locations across the state. First, let's look at a summary of precipitation for spring 2015. Spring 2015 turned out to be quite wet for many locations. The map on the left is the percent of normal precipitation that the region received through the very dry winter 2014-2015 season, encompassing the months of December, January, and February. The map on the right is a comparison of the percent of normal precipitation received across the region for spring 2015, encompassing the months of March, April, and May. Most locations in Utah averaged between 50 and 70% of normal precipitation for the winter season, whereas most locations in Utah averaged between 150 and 300% of normal precipitation for the spring season. The majority of that precipitation occurred in May. Let's go month by month with precipitation. The spring transitioned from a relatively dry March to a very wet May for most of Utah. The first map on the left shows the percent of normal precipitation across the southwest, for March 2015. Much of Utah experienced below normal precipitation for the month of March. April was similar. By May, the entire state experienced above percent normal precipitation, with some locations exceeding 400% of normal precipitation. Near record precipitation for the month of May was experienced in many locations. Logan, Cedar City, and Bryce Canyon all reported their second wettest May on record. For the Salt Lake City area, it was the sixth wettest May on record. Records for Salt Lake City begin in 1874. This would make May 2015's monthly precipitation total in the top 1% of months since 1874. Now onto temperature trends for the spring of 2015. Here's the average temperature departure from normal for the spring season across the country. Across Utah, temperatures averaged within a few degrees of normal for most locations, so a fairly average spring temperature-wise if you look at the whole season. Let's break it down by month. The first image displays how many degrees above normal temperatures averaged across the southwest for March 2015, with much of Utah averaging between 5 and 10 degrees above normal. For April 2015, temperatures were fairly close to normal for most of the state. And then for May, temperatures ranged between 3 and 5 degrees below normal for much of the state. Remember that graphic from March showing how much of Utah averaging between 5 and 10 degrees above normal? While well, many locations in Utah experienced their top 10 warmest March on record. For Salt Lake City and Provo BYU, it was the warmest March on record. For Logan, it was the fifth warmest March on record. For Bryce Canyon, it was the fourth warmest March on record. And for Kanab, it was the second warmest March on record. In summary, Utah experienced a climate roller coaster this spring. What started out as a warm, dry spring that followed a warm, dry winter ended with a wet, cool May. Many locations in Utah received near record precipitation for the month of May. March was quite warm in many locations, with a few seeing a record warm March. And now, the question on everyone's mind, what's the outlook for summer? Here is the summer temperature and precipitation outlook from the Climate Prediction Center, showing Utah in an area with a greater than 33% chance of being warmer than average, and a greater than 33% chance of being wetter than average. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to send us an email. You can also like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Have a great day.